she's coming after them, but she didn't sue them. So I do still think, just because we're on Nene, Nene is on the do not use list. Carol Raswell, because she's so, there's so much there, is on the do not use list. I, I still think Bravo would take Bethany back like within one minute of this podcast ending today. She has spoken out against Andy and Bravo and it, all that doesn't matter, guys. They would take, if Bethany wants to appear on the next Roni girls trip, legacy, legacy loser, whatever Ramona calls it. And she wants to call up with Jill Zarin, her new best friend. I love you, Jill. Jill, I love you. I really do love you. I know you're listening. I love Jill. I have nothing bad to say about her. Um, they would take Bethany back. So I don't think this is if people are like, oh my God, and she's going against Bravo. Yeah, not really. Bethany did a video about Andy Cohen and, and unionizing, which was such a about Andy, not about Andy uh, video, where she basically just says, you know, she and Andy have been very good friends for a very long time. And yes, they disagree on things. And when she goes on his show, she's bamboozled, but you take a few hits, you promote what you're wanting to promote. And, you know, but the, it was still like not really attacking Andy. And the thing that the whole point of this sag after thing is these executives, including Andy Cohen, and I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. He's very talented. And so are, you know, so is, so is Ted Sarandos, who runs Netflix. You know, they're very talented in many, many ways, but they are making enormous salaries and they are not used to giving up anything. And those individuals have complete health insurance, huge retirements, enormous salaries, incredible protections. And, you know, she just, she never really criticizes Andy. It's kind of this like, oh, I'm coming for you. And then, you know, it never really happens. I think she likes Andy. I think both she and Andy are cut from the same cloth. They're business people. You know, they're, they're big time executives and um, big time executives do not want to pay people in any industry. You know, this you've, you've worked for them. Why would they, that's capitalism. How can I make as much money as possible and keeping my overhead costs as low as possible? And people are disposable in these businesses. So I'm with her. I think you're correct. She's knocking at a door. Ain't nobody home. And uh, it's too bad. But maybe we'll be wrong and maybe people will get on board and the reality TV space will change. I mean, you mean to tell me the Grand Dom is not going to cross the picket line for her 60th birthday and go get another, you know, procedure done just because in the future. And by the way, do you know what Bethany is saying? Do you know what? Be Let's boil it all down before we move on. Okay. So I do not think Bethany burned her Bravo ties. No, she and never does. She's very tactical, <laughs> genius. You know what Bethany is saying? Let's just strip it away. She's saying David Yontef and Sarah Fraser were right 10 years ago. Because Bethany is now talking, I have a network. I have my own YouTube. I have this. She's basically saying, I now can do it on my own. Yeah, you sold the company. You have the money. Sarah Fraser and David Yontef have been doing it on their own since day one. So we own our own shit. When someone wants to use my, oh, the Randall scandal, you, you want my little videos on YouTube, whatever it is, when someone wants to use my content, you better call me and you, I, I'm going to give you the routing number and I'm going to give you the bank account. And if not, I'm coming after you. No, I mean, I think. <sighs> That a lesson for our viewers because a lot of them want to start podcasts or have podcasts own your own shit and do not sell it do not sell it unless you are getting something in perpetuity for years and years you know i mean or i like had i had another nasty punk podcaster like years ago try to come after and use my 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 likeliness this little nasty bitch i had to sue the bitch you know what i mean like you can't use someone's like face and name and and by the way david and sarah do consulting really i do consulting on the side i mean my rates have gone up because i'm so busy but we do rates sarah and i talk all the time if we wanted to reinvent ourselves in another life in the room morning we talk all the time we would start a podcast network we would have all these people under us on our network i'm not kidding you how many people are friends of mine that are famous i have three right now that i have to spend a lot of time with because I've helped them start podcasts. I mean, you should be on my network. It should be on the David Yance of Sarah Fraser network. And I mean, I literally, now granted, they've done things for me and helped me get guests because they're very famous people. But three, it's like every other day, shit, how do I get ads? How do I do? This is no ego. It's literally you and I could start a podcast network with a hundred podcasts under us. We know how to do ads, editing, marketing. It, it, this is just what we do. 
And I really, and this is no bragging when I tell you I have three famous people that call me in the middle of the fucking 24 hours a day, this, that, ads, guests, dude, I'm mad at this and that. I'm like, oh my God, like this is, I, I got to start charging money here. This is, it's too much people. Too much. I'm being like Bethany now. I just criticized her for making it about herself. And here I go. Shame on you, David. Um, Look, I wish her the luck, but you do it on your own, guys. Own your shit. Don't let anyone use your, your likeliness. And if you do, <laughs> and if you want to start a podcast, Sarah and I have rates. We really will help counsel you. Really. This is what we could. And yeah, you need you need a lot of counseling now. And even people with existing shows. I mean, it's it, yeah, there's so many tricks to the trade that people don't know. There's so many things to make. You know, people, people have been doing these podcasts for years and they're not making a nickel. I mean, that's insane. You know, let me tell you a story. I'm the good. Let me before we move on. Uh, somebody true. told me on a network that I know I, I, I can't. It's not, the it, it, facts are not important, but there's somebody on a network who said they're about to get a major housewife. I don't need to mention who. I'm an East Coast girl, so we all. I like to focus on the East Coast. There's a it's this housewife. It's this person's name is so huge in the world. And they're like, yeah, this person's, she's coming over to our network. She makes no money. I'm like, what? Like, how is she making no money on her podcast? If she makes like a dollar, I'm like, what? Like 99% of the people, no, 100% of the world would say, we know who that is. And we have no idea who fucking David Yontef is. <laughs> and it's a huge name. And I'm like, what do you mean she makes no money? Sarah, we should have a whole fucking network. Forget this on air shit. We should never be heard from again. And we should just go behind the scenes and start a network and take a percentage of everyone. And just behind the scenes, I'll get you press. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll get you ads. This is what I should do with my life. You want to cancel me? You people want to cancel me? Suck my 10 incher. Suck it. Put your knee pads on. Suck my 10 incher and cancel me because my next act is already planned. You 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 got me riled up, girl. You got me riled up. I feel like you're the Dave Portnoy of gay men. And I you know, am. let's launch the um, you know, podcast gayish um mom version of Barstool Sports. Let's do it. You're let's do well. it. Dave Portnoy is saying that Sonia is a gross old hack and he doesn't want to fuck her. And ah. I'll be and I'll, and I'll say other things. I mean, I, I didn't say that, guys. Don't come after me. Dave Portnoy said it. Dave would fuck her. He's so full of shit. You I think mean, he's so? a very hot girlfriend that I love following on TikTok. And she's oh, very I don't know. I really don't, don't think, think Dave Portnoy would fuck. Her. Well, um, yeah, probably not. Dave's in I think yet. Dave Portnoy, yeah, I was gonna say I think he would fuck Ariana Grande. I think he would like to get with, I don't know, probably maybe even Taylor Swift, but I don't really know. I don't think he would go for Miss Morgan, to be very honest with you. Mm -hmm. Um I'm okay with that, Miss Morgan, too. We all know that. Can I tell I you something that. else? I mean, God, we have we've what had we have a time for... yeah, we, we have time for one more story. Okay, let's make it. I mean, this Lucy Lucy Apple Juice needs to move over because we got a new star in town and his name is Graham. 